Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today is a reflection day. See, if a reflection to the uploads, the titles that I have done. Looking good. However, I need to do more for my blog rather than just organic little rants and less randomness, more powerful. Okay, more love, more how you vibe rather than reflecting from the past. Um, also, health updates, those are just minis. Uh, I do updates to the channel, I do other stuff, but I need to tone that down and focus more from reading my blog and post that throughout the week rather than one blog re read per week or something. I don't really like how that is going on right now. However, I do business for my channel, which was the hodgepodge mess of a 15 minute video for what is my brand? Hodgepodge mess. Um, then you have selling t shirts on Roblox, which is a precursor to the physical store uh, merchandise in the future that I will try to do. That one is not. Uh, too bad however it is for to figure out what will happen in the future i'm not too concerned with that one there was more light language now which is also very good um the flexion of is over um to me i feel like i could do better at the content, I am pushing out more, less randomness, more stuff from my blog, more higher vibe, more impact, more inspiration rather than, than just feel randomness or ranting or reflection. A reflection is good. Do not get me wrong. I just prefer more from my blog on the channel if that am i making any sense i feel like i am not like i do not need to worry about what i upload it's all good i mean you reflect you give us organic a blog post that was spoken rather than typed why are you freaking out you shouldn't be you are a light worker we have our ups and downs stop freaking out you're making good content, keep doing what you're doing, push forward. Stop freaking out and stop saying that this is random. Nothing is random. Everything happens for a reason. Why am I freaking out? I don't, I just, I tend to overthink, I guess. Uh, me, I am a perfectionist. How to stop being a perfectionist? I don't know. I don't know. Um... Feedback is always welcomed. Uh, comments are always appreciated. I love talking to the fans, knowing whatever it may be that you want to share with me, openly or in private. You can reach me on my website, contact page there. You can reach me on Instagram, you can reach me on Twitter, you can reach me on Facebook. Or you can message me on YouTube. Uh, I didn't know really how that one works. I used to see that you can message people on YouTube, but I don't know if that's a thing anymore. Uh, you might be able to PM me on YouTube, I don't know. All links are in the description. All links are on the main channel page. I thank you for your time and I need to stop freaking out about what I post. It's all good. It's all powerful. Reflection is good. It Lessons are being learned. 
stop freaking out. You do you. You do the best you can, but always strive to do better. Stop freaking out. Stop overthinking. The content you put out is good. Stop saying it is random. Yes, you give frequency update slash health update. That is good that you do that, that you post that to the public to know, hey, I'm not feeling good or hey, are you experiencing an energy shift as well? Other people may experience the same symptom of, I don't know, just an energy shift. Stop freaking out that your content is not in like one subject. Being a light worker, you will have multiple subjects, topics. Stop thinking that your content is all over the place. It is not a hodgepodge. Maybe I need to do better at titles. I don't know. Mm, no, because the titles come from the higher self, which in turn is, is good because it, it came from the topic that you were writing about. Unless you refer to the organic videos, because those are the ones I have trouble with um, naming. I don't know. I I'm totally freaked and I should not be. Yay. Um, good content. Stop freaking. You do you. You're good. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You do an amazing job at what you do. Push forward. Stop freaking out. Stop overthinking. Let things flow. So this was more like a motivational speech for myself that just came to be. Which is good because I need more of this on the channel. More inspiration. More energy. More free form, uh, so to speak. Uh, free form as in motivation. My channel is motivational. It's inspirational. It is loving. We need more of that. So maybe it's because my since I was in a energy flunk, flunk, uh, really, <laughs> um, fluff. No, not fluff. N fluff. Not no. Fluff is not in non-existent. Um, flunk. Okay. Um, energy lower. Yeah, we have energy shifts. It's okay. Stop freaking out. Um. Huh. YouTube, you're being weird right now. And by that, I mean, I okay, I had an up a video I was trying to upload. It did upload, I think. I don't really... I'm confused. Okay, so today I went back to see my uh, video manager to see what is pending. Well, this one video decided to be stuck in a circle saying thumbnail pending. Well, it's never loaded. I deleted the video, tried to upload the whole batch again to see what was not uploaded, and apparently they all uploaded. So it was a duplicate and YouTube did not catch that. Okay. Sweet. Everything's uploaded. Um, good. Good, good, good. I thank you for your time. And until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. In the last video, I gave a motivational speech for myself however it will help others i do know that because other people can be freaking out like i am about the content you put out don't freak do not freak you're doing a good job keep it up like i am i, I push forward and yeah um 
I actually prefer, I don't know. I'm trying, I don't know. My head is just doing what it wants. Um, yeah. Excellently, since that one ha was uh, motivational, it I really liked that feel when I get amped up, okay? When I get amped up, I push more energy to my viewers, which is better, not just for myself, but for the viewers. You get pumped, they get pumped. It Charisma is a thing. Charisma is aura. Aura reflects your person, your your, uh, what's the word, what's the word, um, frequency, not frequency, uh, same meaning, um, charisma is, what's the word I am looking for, oh my god, uh, aura, frequency, vibration, what am I trying to say? Emotion. Emotion. Really, brain? It took you that long? I don't know why it, it, it... Boom. Okay. Charisma, your aura, shows your emotion. What does that mean? If you are blue, your aura will reflect sadness in a color. If you are mad, your aura will be bright red. And in my case... I had this happen. I was shaken when I was so angry. Not joking. I was. I could feel my aura vibrating like crazy, and I was so mad. I felt I was shaken in anger because my energy, my aura, was vibrating, and I could feel that. I literally felt that only happened once in my entire lifetime up to this point I'm still young maybe I will feel another crazy vibration in my aura at another time I don't know the tingles however from the light to language video is a different than what I was feeling when I was angry super angry my aura was bright red I'm assuming I could not see aura or in my mind but Again, your aura reflects your emotion, which is, again, charisma. Charisma is real. So, if you get amped up, your viewers will get amped up. Let's go, baby. Come on. Like, come on. You get hype, they get hype. So, yeah, just, just, I, I am trying to push out m further, break out, break my boundaries, basically. Um, though, I am perfectly in fine being on camera. However, my energy, I don't know why I can't be amped up at more of the time. I don't know. Usually my energy is normal, not crazy high. Maybe it has something to do with being hyper. I don't know. I don't know any of this yet. Um, I guess I am hyper, which is also good. Capture it on video. I've been saying that to myself over and over and over again. Capture being hyper. Being hyper gives you more energy. Your energy is higher, so capture that on video. It will do better for the channel. Or maybe it's because I've been watching a YouTuber be hyper all the time, and maybe it rubbed off onto me. I don't know. I do catch myself saying what he always says, his catchphrase, so to speak. But it's just the one YouTuber. It's not multiple. I don't know. Maybe his energy rubbed off onto me, which is a thing. It is a thing. And my hair is just being so flippy right now. Uh, yeah, emotional state does affect your energy. It does affect your aura. It does affect your charisma. Become more love, more power to you. Uh, you will you will shine brighter if that makes any sense and I am losing what I'm trying to say no I, I I don't know why I'm going with this now um yeah emotional states do affect you be well the more well you are the 
more you can do. Uh, by do, I mean you can, you know how to heal yourself, to balance yourself, to bring back peace if you're mad or sad or something. It just means you are more well and you will know how to handle that moment better or something. So, yeah. I thank you for your time and until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today, I will be reading from my blog once again. Today's topic will be... Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this. I, new angle of my face instead of right on. I'm gonna be like this. Actually, I should... There. That second one looks better. Um, okay, topic. <laughs> I zoomed in too much. I couldn't spell full title. Okay, topic. Stay strong in your light. Rise above the darkness. Stay strong in your light. Stay strong with that of love. Do not let people get to you. Do not let them confuse you. Rise above them. Destroy their chains they have wrapped around you. Break free of their toxins. They are scaled of your light. They are scaled. You have self-love. They are afraid of your power, your light, and your love. They will try anything to bring you down, to make you in a raging storm. Yes, for a day I was enraged till I exhausted it all out and said all my truth, my peace. My truth means everything to me. My truth is my power. My truth is what I believe in. Fully, purely, divinity, divinely. You are your reality. You control your reality. Your mind is powerful. You shape your own reality. Your thinking is at the core of your reality. He tried to confuse me and failed. He tried to get under my skin with him telling me to stop making him aroused when I, when I could not respond. I could not respond or barely say anything. I thought he was giving me a compliment. I was wrong. Instead, he shut me up. He shot me down. He blasphemed the law of Thelema, the law of love. That part of the blog is saying if a guy compliments you, saying you look nice, you look pretty, you look beautiful, or something on those lines, not being lustful. He said something to the effect of he gave me a compliment, I said thank you, or a wink, because sometimes I give winks when I like the person, like his energy. If he, okay, with my friends, I give them winks when they compliment me, saying they love my looks and he did compliment me on that, but he instead, he told me to stop giving him, uh, I was trying to say thank you, 
in my own way. He told me to shut up. He literally told me to stop because he was mad that I was, I don't know, I guess I assumed he, not assumed, uh, he gave me a compliment, I thanked him, he told me to shut up. For a day, I was enraged because of that. This was all over Facebook, not on my website, I don't believe. This is the only part that I spoke of, I think. Or I donated it. Um, it just means when a person tells you to shut up when you thank them for giving a compliment, that person is toxic and you need to ban them, block them, and just ignore their negativity. He was mad that I was arousing him with my looks. Again, me being clothed like, like what I am on YouTube, you know, this. People have said, your shoulder makes me horny. I have had that com uh, comment before, so, and he, this person was mad that I was making him aroused. I was being kind of flirty, again, just, just a wink or a grin. That's all he did, no words, just an emote. And he told me to shut up and to make me stop, even though he was the one to compliment my look, saying I looked good, I looked hot. And I thought, I don't know, I, I just was trying to say thank you, and he just shot me down, like, really? Again, he was, I felt comfortable, so I said thank you back when he said I, something. I, I don't, okay, um... Why he blasphemed the law of Thelema, the law of, well, the law of love? When you are friends with a person, you say, Hey, I've known you in another life. Let's be friends in this life. I took him up on his offer. Then when he said I made him arouse and he hated it, like, he did not not say that, but when he told me to stop, to tell me to shut up, I took that as, okay, he's mad that I am making him aroused. I can't control that, okay? I, I cannot control that. However, since he said we were friends in a previous life, that he knew me previously, that I felt... I was liking his energy until he told me to shut up. When I was thanking him for the compliment. So he blasphemed the law of the Lama because he was against my self love. He was against me thanking him for saying I had a good lux to you he if you're not in to the law of the lama or even know the basics of the book of the law the fundamental principles I can't really explain why he is the enemy to the law of the lama why he blasphemed it I can't really help explain that if you do not know the basics to yourself for yourself. All I can say is he was against love because he told me to shut up. Therefore, he is against the law of love, the law of the lemma, the law of will because he was against my self-love. Um Basically, I sort of put that into a... For some reason, this blog post is in three parts. However, that should have been three different videos. Um, 
Except it's kind of not because it's a, a hodgepodge of a mess. <laughs> of saying, rise above the darkness. He was darkness, I rose above it. I spoke all my truth, I felt better. I knew he was toxic. I blocked him afterwards He when he told me to shut up. I knew he was evil. He wanted to get under my skin, he did, for a, a day. I spoke all my truth. After that, I got back my peace, and then I, I somehow wrote this. Uh, yeah. People will troll you, and he was a troll. Why give someone a compliment only to tell that person to shut up for thanking them? That makes no sense. And again, that is against the law of the lemma when you do that. If, if that is even making any sense for you for you guys, um, I I apologize for this hospital's mess. However, it is still in the topic of rising above the darkness and gaining your light back. Uh, stay strong in your light, and yeah. Uh, sorry for that mini rent. It goes on and says. Fantasy writing part. The Great Mother is back with a fury. No one is safe of her gaze. Don't know why I wrote of. It should have been... Fr I don't know. She is back. She is here to lead women and men to be shameless. To indulge in self-love and pleasure. She is here to help awake mankind to the spiritual realms, to raise mankind to new heights. Thus, the mission is Earth, doing the great work, doing my true will, raising mankind's vibra vibrancy with love in every which way, raising mankind's vibrations with love in every way, every which way. There is no law above, do what thou wilt. Love is the law, love under will. Arise, extend to 5D and beyond. Love and in love, love with bliss, love with light, love with strength, love with power, love with power. You are magical, you are powerful, you are divine, you are love, you are light. Shine your light so bright, repel the dark ones who want to take your light away. Repel the negative ones. Cut the negative people from your life. Learn your lessons, speak your truth, speak your love. Be shameless, indulge in love. I'm going to skip over this. It's really not safe for work, even though it is just one word. Uh, instead, I am going to censor this. Indulge in blank. Blank is powerful meditation. Blank is a powerful act of love. So I should have said, indulge in love, indulge in yeah, I, I can't really figure that out on the fly. Um, Self-love, love, 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 divine utmost holy love, let your soul guide you. Trust your instincts, trust your soul. Return to love, return to light, love and in love, love with light, love with bliss, blissful love, divine love, powerful, bright light of thy soul. Thou is no law above, do what thou wilt, love is the law, love under will. 
So I guess that metal part wasn't really a hard pause if you read the whole thing, which that part should have been at the end, not the second part. Eh, it is what it is. I was in a powerful trance, as you can tell. I am speaking more powerfully today. That is good. My energies are higher. Yay. So, yeah. Um... I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, my friends. Wait. I guess the only part that should have been censored w in a different way instead of used the word blank could have been just love make, love making, uh, the energy of love. The frequency of love, but no, you can't really. I can't really censor that right now. I thought I did in a previous post, but no, I don't think I did. So yeah, um, oh, can maybe I could have used the Candelina energy. The word sensible um wait let me the chakra above the root chakra I could have maybe used that one because it does pertain to what I'm hinting at uh wait a minute I just made a video for a uh, a slide from the this is not no, it is public now. Uh, it, yeah, it is public. Uh, let me find the well. I put the the slides. Um, well, it's not in that folder. Not in this one. Eh. Uh, what is it? Wait, found it. I found the folder. Okay, maybe... Oh, no, I just said love energy, so... Then I said... Solo without your partner. You do not need to go all the way to have the big O. So, yeah, there's really no way for me to censor it without using the word blank or without the love energy current. Which I already said, so let me reread that one part uh, again. And. Okay. Indulged in love, indulged in love energy current. Love energy current is a powerful meditation. Love current energy is a powerful act of love. Maybe that is a better way of putting it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I thank you for your time and until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic is There are no chance encounters with the people we meet. Things happen for a reason. We meet people for reasons. Be it for a lesson to help or to grow. I've been seeing uh, multiple photo posts about that again. Um, I thought I just posted one on my, my page. Uh, maybe I can f try to find it in my downloads folder. 
it basically the law of attraction comes into play the energy you put out will attract certain people your mindset your thinking again you create your own reality your thinking as at the core of that if you want something so badly it will happen but at the same time you have to put in the work the effort to achieve it money in my theory will not just land in your lap you have to work for it by how doing what you love to do people will donate to you if you have a donate link people will buy your merch something that you put out people will buy but money will not just randomly land in your lap I have seen how do I know just a strong feeling I know I have seen videos with that title do this to get money by the law of attraction in my opinion since I have never watched that just I have not watched that video to know what it's talking about however I feel you attract what your energy puts out if your energy says hey I um, I am attracting people who want to learn that's because you're putting out content that attracts that your energy attracts that um, if you want to attract okay in my opinion when I was lost and confused and I was in the wrong crowd I was attracting crazy people I attracted people who did you said they used blood magic and I did not like the vibe when they said that they did animal sacrifices and did that type of magic I was attracting crazies because I was to begin with I was in the wrong type of religion at that time all these people cared about was destroying churches by burning it or having orgies or blasphemy the church or whatever I attracted that because I thought I was in the right religion at that time and I I don't know I, it just happened to attract these bad people and other strange stuff however these people did not private message me they just left comments uh, I was in the wrong Facebook group well these people lied uh, laid they were in again you, you attract what you I did not meet these people by chance okay it felt random but it wasn't it looking back at what I attracted back then it told me what I was not now looking back reflection I attracted these people because I was confused and lost and was in the wrong religion to begin with therefore I attracted these nutcases because my energy attracted them looking back I now know I attracted that because it showed me this is not who I am this is not what I am into this is not what I want to be and that is why it appealed to me to tell me to show me this is not what I want I am the opposite of that therefore it helped me see what I needed to become at that time however I d did not see it like that
you're wondering why you attract certain people? Your energy, how you think, how you perceive yourself, how you let the public see you as. And that is why you attract certain people. Because A, you let it happen over and over and over again because the universe is telling you, hey, you need to learn this lesson and rise above it to become better. So, you need to break that cycle for meeting these users. People who use you for lust, use you for money, whatever it may be. The universe is saying you need to become stronger than that person to say, hey, I am not going to let this happen to me ever again. I rose above that. I learned my lesson. It taught me that I do not want this in my life. Therefore, what do I do? Cut out the toxic people and rise above it. And that is my theory of why we meet people, be it a lesson, be it a mission, be it helpful, or be it negative. Mission is, uh, I met a person to teach them something. When that was taught, the universe separated us because my job was done. The mission was over. When we learn our lessons, these people who we do not want in our life go away. We attract what we need, what we want. We attract everything, be it negative or be it positive. We control and shape our reality through our thinking. We are very powerful. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today, I will be reading lyrics that I have written. Um, I haven't written lyrics in, like, over, I'm going to say a year. I have a journal on my drive that, well, I dated when it was, the last song was written, so I can see how long it was, but I'm assuming it's been over a year since I last wrote a lyrics. Normally, I, ha I have never read any of them aloud on video. This is a first. But I did post this on my blog, however. The original date is November 27, 18. Last year. I'm not going to attempt to change this, I <laughs> believe me, I, I cannot uh, sing. Why uh, why do I say that? Um, because I have sang before. However, that was light language with vibration. This is when I speak normally and try to sing that. I. I, I run out of breath. Um, again, I have never taken any singing lessons, so yeah. I don't sing from the diaphragm, probably. Uh, I probably failed at the warm-up or something as to why I run out of breath when I sing in English. Um, so I will be just reading this aloud. <laughs> oh my god, that intro is too long. Uh, 
The name is Waking Up With Love. Waking up with love, waking up with love, waking up with you in my arms, oh, waking up with you in my arms. Staring into your eyes, being lost in your soul gaze, being lost in your soul, oh, being lost in your soul, love, love, love. Waking up with love, waking up with love, waking up with you, waking up with you, holding each other, holding each other in love, oh, in love. There is no other place I'd rather be, I'd rather be with you, I'd rather be with you. I love you, I love you, oh, how I love thee, oh, how I love thee. I am lost in your eyes, oh, how I am lost in your eyes, feeling your soft gaze upon me. I am in love, I am love. There is no other place I'd rather be. I'd rather be with you, I'd rather be with you. Waking up with you, waking up with you. Holding each other, holding each other in love. Oh, and love. Love, love, love. There is no other place I'd rather be. I want to be in your arms. I want to be next to you. I love thee. I adore thee. I love thee. Shining light, shining light. Love and in love, love and in love. There is no other place I'd rather be. Waking up next to you, waking up next to you. Gazing into your eyes, gazing into your soul. Being lost in you, being lost in you, being lost in you. I love thee, I adore thee, shining, shining. Love is the law, love under will, shining like a star. I am lost in your soul. I am lost in your eyes. I am lost in you. I love thee. I adore thee. There is no other place I'd rather be. Waking up with love. Waking up with love. Waking up with you. Waking up with you. Holding each other. Holding each other in love. Oh, in love. Waking up with you, waking up with you, waking up with love, waking up with love, being lost in your eyes, being lost in your soul, being lost in you. I love thee, I adore thee, there is no other place I'd rather be. And that concludes the lyrics. A love song, a f obviously, um, higher rhymes, love vibration. Obviously, this is dedicated to my lover and how I feel about him, thus sparked the song. But again, this could relate to other people how they feel about their partner. No, they'll soul flame, they'll twin flame, they'll soulmate, they'll lover. This does not apply to lust because lust usually is dry and used up people who are basically douchebags. One night stands. I disagree with one night stands. So, yeah, something different on the channel, that is for sure. I was, okay, when I posted a song on Fixin' Press, a person commented, 
What is the tempo? I have no idea the the speed of the song. Any of my songs, I just write the lyrics. That's it. Without questioning the the speed or what music would accompany it. However, there were times when I heard music when I was writing a song in from my head. Um, that was years ago, so I do not really remember the instrument that was that was used. However, considering my s- lyrics are from 5D love vibration, it would probably be classified as woodwind instruments, uh, strings, no, no zazz, no brass instruments. I don't like the sound of zazz instruments. I've always been like that. I don't like trumpets and related instruments. However, guitar, bass, Yes, that would probably work with this, like a rock music. Um, the same would probably be that of... Well, the style I am looking for is, again, to resonate that of love. So the instrument that comes to mind is harp, flute, clarinet maybe, violin, bass and guitar just to get that deep vibe uh okay so what type of music from what country would work me i personally prefer that of javanese music why i watched a lot of anime and anime intros are again from japan therefore is resonating the music So the artist that came from an anime that I watched is TM Revolution, which is who wrote a song for Bleeds. I never saw that anime, but I have heard of it. Um, I think his song came from a different anime, but I, I googled what songs he wrote for which anime, and that was one of them. May I pr- uh, I never watched Bleach. Um, however, I'm pretty sure one of the songs came from a particular anime that I cannot remember right now. So the vibe would again be Japanese. Not the how Americans see the music. It's the vibes are different depending on what type of music you're listening to. It could be classical, it could be rock and roll, metal. They have all types of bands, just like all over the world. I mean, so it's not like your typical stereotype. I, I, the cringe on that, oh my god. Uh, the cringe came from my music teaser from elementary school and she attempted to relay what Japanese music is, and I'm like, oh my god, that is not even true. That's your typical stereotype, which is wrong, because not all music will sound like that. It's just, oh my god, it cringes on that, because I play a lot of Final Fantasy, Zelda, those came from Japan, and again, different music, not your typical stereotype. So, yeah, um, the same would probably res- resonate with that of Japan because I do find myself being more into Japan music than I am American or UK or anything really. Um, I have tried to listen to uh, Spanish, Mexic- uh, Mexican music. Um, the only one that kind of comes up is the tango. I'm not really fond of that one. 
I think, no, that's more of a Latin music, I believe, than Mexican, but again, Mexico is, I don't know, it says, yeah. Um, I just prefer Japan over everything else, um, but yeah, that that's the what music would accompany uh, my lyrics, uh, speed, I have no idea. Or it could just be trans music, which would be the only one I prefer right now is, uh, let me go grab it. Because I listen to this like way, 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 way a lot, a lot. It actually helps me write sometimes. So let me try to find it. So I put it in my favorites. Uh, okay, I found the comment and I clicked it. I'm going to actually just show this in on OBS right now. Not that. Not that window. Why are you not? Okay, I don't know what's going Properties, why are, are you? What's going on? Are you cropped? Okay, okay, it is cropped. Let me uncrop. Okay, let me crop it. Well, okay. And let me just crop it real quick. I'm just practicing this too. Uh, so I need to, that's the right, I need left, left. Okay. Let me just, okay. Okay, the vibe that would probably, I need to figure out is from this track. This track is what I am looking for. The type of music that fits my lyrics, so to speak. I have attempted to make my own, however, I am a complete noob at it. Therefore, um, let me, let me go find the one I have created. Wait, can I just go to band lab? I'll just do my band lab and because it's actually easier to find. Actually, let me uncrop. Left, zero, right, zero. Okay. So these are what I have created. I have a lot. Um, the one that I need, well, this is the one I created and I, I always feel like it can do better that if that makes any sense. It's basically not up to my standards of professionalism. However, the song is complete. It does. I like the other one better. I prefer it over what I created. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm gonna...
I guess like this goes back to my previous video why I discussed the transition. That part was the transition, I believe. And your my heart felt like it, it jumped to catch up to the next part to get in sync. And I don't like that. The first part needs to just be it. And then the middle is just its own thing rather than have a transition. So I don't I did not really capture the the love vibration in this piece. If that makes any sense. I need an angel chorus. That is what I am looking for. I have the breathing thing. Uh, let me... Whoops. Let me go back to the other one and play it for a bit. And you will see the... You will hear the difference and... I should have just cut this into two parts, but whatever. Whoops. I needed to split this video into two, however... It's going to just be in the one. I'm not going to cut it. Er... Yeah. I should have cut it, but I didn't. On that note, um, I know I posted this in, on my Facebook page. I've been seeing more of those ads, like, what, like, what is this human footprint, a fully formed human footprint doing in this period? Well, it should not be. Or other ancient alien facts. They should not be theories. It should be fact, not theory. However, it is theory because uh, science has yet to prove that this did happen or whatever it may be. I'm not... It, me? It is reality. It should not be theory. And this is... The spirit is becoming more and more mainstream. All I see on YouTube is these ads, and I love it because spirit should be mainstream. We should be remembering where we came from, from the stars. Every man and every woman is made of stars. Therefore, we are all star seeds. We came from different star systems, Palladian, Syrian, Orion, etc. We just don't remember. We forgot practically everything because everything we were told was wrong. We were taught wrong from the beginning of history. Our history books are wrong. We are now discovering what really happened. And that is coming to the mainstream more and more. The real truth is now popping up everywhere more and more. There are going to be more people in a higher position that are authors, TV hosts, etc. And I applaud them for their work. Again, Ancient Alien is a major one. 
Speaking of that, a person told me that most of what they speak is, I think he said, funny, or they were high, or something, like, and uh, to what they said, I did not fully accept what they were talking about, or something else, except one of the videos they, uh, the TV show, uh, did was debunked. I do know some things are going to be debunked, others are false. However, what if it was debunked because it was real and we were all lied to and it was a cover up? What if? That is why they said it was debunked, because they did not want the real truth to get out to the masses, and therefore was covered up, because knowledge is power. If you do not know your rights, it is easier to be taken away, which is actually true. So this video should have been three parts now. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's alright, I mean, um, this is like a mini completion video right now. I needed to say that before I forget, because I was trying to say that in a previous video of what I just covered, and I failed. I needed to get that spark again, and it just happened, so good. Now, back to the music topic. Your heart naturally goes to the rhythm of what you listen to, and this one has a more, a better effect. I feel like I just fell into a trance, a common feeling, a peaceful feeling has overtaken me. When I listen to the music that I have made, it is not that powerful, it is not that deep. This song resonates better to me than what I have created, therefore I prefer this one over the one I made. And that is what I tried uh, to explain, but there was an ad and cut me off. <laughs> Either way, it needed to be said. So, yes. And that concludes the video. I thank you for your time and this video should have been three parts instead of one, but it's fine. Actually, I need to end in comment, a note to self. Make a a complacent for today's videos. One day of work on one video and upload that instead of, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, let's see what that does. A complacent for today because today has been awesome the the vibration today is as better than it was yesterday. Actually, it's, I think today has been the strongest. Uh, to to be honest, um, if that makes any sense. 
Well, I will actually, I will still compile them separately, but then I need to actually do a compilation for today, put it all in one video, but I will also upload the single parts to YouTube, not just the hour long video or whatever, however long this today's work will be, because I am still going. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today, I will be reading another song I wrote. Date was... November 19 of last year, titled, I Have Wings of Soul Fire. Let me fix myself. Actually, let me take this off because I'm getting too hot for that to be on. What am I doing now but love, only love? Love, love, love. I have wings of soul fire. I have wings of love. This divine love and light. Will you come fly away with me? Will you extend with you and me? Okay, that's an error. It should be, will you extend with me? That you does not belong. <laughs> Love will cut you adrift. And on its soothing waves. On this crazy wave of love and light, only love, yes, only love. Light ablaces with my soul fire spark, love and in love. The light is my fine love, my divine love. Come, won't you fly away with me to paradise, to paradise? To heaven, oh, heaven is inside you, oh, it is inside you. Open your wings and fly, take off. The ground cannot hold you any longer. You are free, go, fly, free. Won't you come and fly with me? On these wings of love, on these wings of bliss, love and in love. Let your soul ablaze with that of your divine love and light. Show no mercy to the darkness and to the shadows. Your light casts them out and banishes them. Your light adorns. Your light has no shadow nor darkness. You are divine light and love. You are bliss. Oh, won't you come and fly away with me, with me? Be free, for they are free. Love and in love, 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 love. Oh, won't you come and fly away with me, with me? Be free, for they are free. Love and in love, 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 love. Oh, won't you come and fly away with me, with me? Be free, for they are free. Love and in love, 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 love. What am I doing now but love, only love? Love, love, love. I have wings of soul fire. I have wings of love. This divine love and light. Love will catch you adrift 
on its soothing ways, on this crazy wave of love and delight, only love, yes, only love, light ablaze with my soul fire spark, love and in love, the light is my fine love, my divine love. Come, won't you fly away with me? To paradise, to paradise, to heaven. Oh, heaven is inside you. Oh, it is inside you. Open your wings and fly. Take off. The ground cannot hold you any longer. You are free. Go, fly free. Won't, won't you come and fly with me on these wings of love? On these wings of bliss, love and in love, let your soul ablaze with that of your divine love and light. Show no mercy to the darkness and to the shadows. Show no mercy to the darkness and to the shadows. Show no mercy to the darkness and to the shadows. Your light casts them out and banishes them. Your light adorns. Your light has no shadow nor darkness. You are divine. You are divine light and love. You are bliss. With the with these wings of love, with these with these wings of bliss, love and in love with these wings of love, with these wings of bliss, love and in love. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, my friends, Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today I will be reading another blog post from my website that I have written personally. Today's topic will be, I rose above the darkness. I am love, I am powerful, I am magical, I am divine. I am love. My light shines brighter than the sun. I am so bright. My soul blazes its passion and love. I am light. I am love. Love with bliss, love with light, love and in love. There is no law above to what thou wilt. Love is the law, love under well. I must learn to control my rage. Do not let my rage blind me. I know, I now know my intuition speaks to me through my emotions. And so my ex was a fool to tell me I need to control my rage and that I was blinded by my rage. I am so glad to be rid of all the toxic people again. It feels good to return to balance, to return back into love. I am glad I listened to my soul. My soul speaks in its rage. My soul speaks to me through my emotions. My emotions are my intuition. Always listen to your gut. Always go with what your soul is trying to tell you. I am glad I can tell the difference between an enemy versus a real friend. Soul tribe versus people I do not vibe with. And that goes to the first post I read which was about 
I say and I ranted to a guy who complimented me then told me to shut up when I tried to tell him thank you and that just goes back to the first post I read today. Always listen to what your soul is telling you. Energy speaks the loudest. Your emotion ties into your charisma, which is again ties back into your aura. Energy speaks the loudest and my rage, why try to control your rage? Listen to what you are saying in your rage. What are you? Why are you mad? Then figure out how to prevent it from happening in the future. Example, I am mad because someone said I was ugly. Well, do not listen to the bullies. Do not try to defend yourself and talk back to them. Rise above the bullies, block them, ban them, ignore them, move on. However, if you're mad when a guy compliments you and you try to say thank you and he tells you to shut up, that, that is something you need to pay attention to. And that is what my rage was trying to tell me. Do I not block him or do I keep him as a friend? My, in my reins, I said to hell with that guy who told me to shut up when I tried to thank him for giving me a compliment. And so I blocked him on my Facebook. And then I noticed his energy I could not stand after our conversation was done. In my reins, I found out everything I needed to know. My ex was wrong to tell me I need to stop being angry and that I was blinded in my rage and said stupid things. Pay attention to what you say always in your anger. Your soul is trying to tell you something that you need to Pay attention to. I know I had my blackouts when I spoke to my ex when we were having big fat arguments over something stupid. We both said things we do not remember. However, if you do remember what you are saying in your anger, then that means something. It means you are constant in your anger and there was a lesson though, or something you need to know about. However, if you're on completely blackout, then I, I don't know what that means. Um, I have had moments where I did blackouts yelling at my ex on Facebook over something stupid and I'm glad to be rid of him for good, for good now. Um, I no longer feel his energy anymore. It's it's gone. I just constantly reflect every now and then, which is okay. It just means I, I don't know. I probably still need to learn something. Since I am going to compile this into one long video, this post will make more sense because it ties into the first post I've read. Yay. So... Yeah. Again, this was just a note for my to myself for why I ranted for a whole day and could not get over it until I said my whole truth, all of what I needed to say. Afterward, I felt better. I felt clear, clarity, peace, balance after that whole raven mess for a day subsided and then looking back yeah i can t see that he was an enemy he needed to be blocked i needed to tell my soul ev to relay everything my soul was trying to tell <laughs> t 
to tell me and yeah after I blocked him I felt 100% better so if you are raving at a person it's not wor well do rave you cannot control your anger I've tried for years I can't control my anger there's no way I'm a fire firestorm when I'm super mad or when things get under my skin I if, if you attack me, I will be a raging mess for a day. I mean, come on. You literally attacked my soul. Who I am. What I stand for. And I'm not gonna let that slide. Did I defend myself? No, I, I blocked him. Then I went on a raging mess for a day. Um, But I needed to tell, speak my truth, all of it, to feel better. And once that whole raids and mess was done and over with, I looked back, deleted it, moved on, made these uh, two blog posts on it, moved on, and felt 100% better. So, if you were angry and raging for a day, so be it. I mean, you can't control yourself. You can try. I've tried. I, I can still get pissy and uh, go on a rent mate. <laughs> rant maids <laughs> rant rave for a day because I, I cannot control my anger my soul is telling me something I need to listen and see what the heck is up I know I've seen multiple photo memes saying hey learn to control your anger my question is how do you control your emotions what happens if you thrive on your intuition with your emotion what's then everyone maybe you can control your emotion maybe you cannot maybe you can't because your intuition is in your emotion because mine when I am in anger I know my soul is trying to tell me something now it my soul is saying, hey, this person is toxic to you. Get rid of him or her. Delete this toxic person. If you feel sad, remove this person. I mean, if they are making you sad. Like, telling you something to make you sad. Because I've had that happen too. My ex made me cry and that, that is toxic. And every time I raised at him, I should have just blocked him and walked away. Why did I not? <sighs> Again, that goes back to him controlling his reality, said I was the one doing it. No, it was him. Until we finally realized that and stopped because I no longer feel his energy on me. Everything he is, what he was, gone in my head. I forgot him completely. It's all good. And this just is a reflection to that. To tell you, I learned my mistake. This is my lesson learned. Do not make the same mistake I made. And that is why I constantly uh, talk about it and draw back to it. Because it is just telling me, hey, this happened because you needed to learn this lesson. And now you can go back to it relay it over and over and over again, constantly reflect, so you do not make that mistake again. The scar is there. It means you were stronger than it. You learned what you needed. Now you can teach it to others and hope that they do not make the same mistake or help them get out of the, that mistake. So, yeah, um, that was the ending comment to that, and oh my god, I've done how many videos now? Not one after the other, um, so it was, apparently around six or seven, not bad, no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Not bad. My most <laughs> awesome. Today's just been a crazy and then I needed to read more and more from my blog and that's what I did today. So yeah, am I done? I have no idea. I could read another one. Or I'm done. I'm not sure yet. Until we meet again, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video, and oh my gosh, that sun glow. It is completely just white. <laughs> and we are on a roll. Eight videos for today. This will be the last video. And a quick video, I hope. Topic is describing, well, messages that I have wrote personally created these messages myself but start starting with image number one well okay starseed sharing knowledge and love Wherever I go, I do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will. I made the background, which is a fractal image. I painted the stars. The only thing I did not make is the chakra meditation person image that came from google this image relates to my core of what i am and what i do image bye bye this is another image that i made Fraxel image, words are mine. Open your mind to new possibilities and awaken your third eye. See, see beyond duality. And this matches, it goes back to the multiple blog posts I have written which use this phrase. See beyond duality, see with spirit, see with soul, see with third eye, energy speaks all, or something to do with uh, that. Again, another thing at my core of what I am. The darkness can try to diminish my light and knock me off my course, but I always come back stronger and rise higher than before. Written off of a shared computer. This, that description is for this image. I wrote it on my blog. My star sign is Capricorn with Leo being the sun sign. I am a Pleiadian starseed feline or Syrian starseed feline. I should have put Pleiadian slash Syrian, but I did not. Um, it is pro- I don't- I, I needed that slash Syrian. Um, my aura is blue, therefore I am blue light ray. Um, blue light ray, I've tried to google this, it... That is distracting me. <laughs> 
Um, blue light ray, they are they are at the forefront of light workers and the mission I have heard. I have not googled it. Do your own research. Um, I will try to find out more information on blue light ray because that is new to me. Another message I made, my eyes are open, my eyes are open, I listen to my soul, I listen to my heart, my soul knows the way, the galaxy is my home, for I am a star seed, I listen to my heart, I listen to my soul, I listen to the vibrations. That came from a blog I wrote. Photo is mine. The background I took. Look inside yourself to find your magic. This power can heal you and others. I tweaked the image in my video editor to get it to this color of glow. The words are mine. The photo came from Google. A inspirational quotes for today for an ending video. All of those pictures I have made myself. It just shows the basis of what I do, what I am, the core, the basics, um, though I cannot really go into detail, more detail, because it is the basics. The, I can't get simpler than that. So, yeah. And then video for today. Eight videos in all. It just happened. I guess I had a lot of energy and needed to read more from my blog, and so I did. Why eight? It just happened. Unless the magic number eight could mean something. The universe might be trying to tell me something from that eight. Probably not. I don't know. But again, that is num pff, number numerology. Numbers can have meanings. The universe uses numbers to get our attention. So why I landed on eight could mean something or it could not mean anything. However, I have not been seeing numbers as of late. The only one I have been seeing in a game is six, 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 six. Sixes. Um, or fours. Or, uh, or eleven. 1111 11 is awakening or some, uh, yeah, awakening, beginning, fours become a whale, uh, eight is, I don't know what eight means, I know, th division? I, I want to say division or war, but I don't, no, that doesn't sound right. Three is division, half of six, um, half of, well, a lot of stuff. Three is the risen, eight is, could mean, oh, eight means war. Uh, but this goes from uh, uh, the author Alistair Crowley, who wrote about numbers in certain books. Certain books, like for instance, I just read chapter 2, it had a number, 418. So, numbers do have meaning in the law of Thelema. 8 means war, and it, 4 came from outside, 3 came from Thelema, which means division. 666 six, six is, I don't even know, something magical, something powerful. To me, I don't understand uh, why the beast was this image. It, it, it he does uh, that 
name Cymbeline. The M is the symbol is significant, however, I do not understand it, is what I am saying, therefore, I do not understand why it is 666. I don't understand it yet. I know it says something about it's a very powerful magic symbol. It's a, I think it said feminine magic, I think, a symbol. I don't, uh, again, it's a, yeah, that's just my thoughts on the, the number and the symbol for the beast. Um, but yeah, should I just get it? Oh, well, it, it, it is what it is. However, it's just a little hodgepodge. Um, nothing too cr crazy. Uh, but yeah, eight videos, which is a lot. My most I have recorded in one day of me constantly reading. However, I did take a break and then I read two more, th uh, three more things, I think. This is the last video for today. I will compile them into one long video because it will make more sense, probably, rather than singles. Until we meet again, my friends. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for watching and reaching the end. If you are not subscribed, please do so to not miss out on new content. And hit that like button to show your support for the channel. Leave a comment down below. I love interacting with my friends.